Hello friends. Hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to look few of the DevOps interview questions. These questions are mainly on Jenkins, Docker, Sonar Cube. So let's see one by one. Starting with very first question, explain the CI/CD end-to-end flow you are working on in current project. By this question, the expectation of the interviewer is they want to check whether you have really worked on CI/CD in real time or not. So you need to provide all the finer details of each stages and whatever tools you have used. So go with the proper flow, starting with uh, source control management first, then going with CI tools, then CD tools, and then how you do deployment and everything. Just with a proper explanation, if you provide all the details, then definitely that would be a positive for you in the interview because this question would your interview depends on this question a lot because this shows that you really worked in DevOps. So please prepare for this question well before going to interview. You can give answer like in my current project we have a, a version control which is in Git, github then a ci tool we have jenkins jenkins is connected or integrated with the version control tool so whenever any commit or any event happens on the version control our uh, pipeline triggers and that build our pipeline in Jenkins and then uh, the test would code analysis would happen from the sonar cube. So sonar cube, we have a separate server for sonar cube on sonar cube. We have defined various quality gates. So in quality gates, we define criteria. So say, uh, our pass percentage is 80% like that. This kind of criteria we define in quality gates. So if that kind of criteria is achieved, then our pipeline would be success, else our pipeline would be aborted. Notification would go back to the developer and developer would again fix it and do the commit and the same flow would happen again. So after that, explain about Docker, if you have Docker in your pipeline, just explain that one and how you can uh, create the image in Docker. So uh, you need to explain that whether your Docker server is separate or Docker is lying in the Jenkins agent, explain that properly. And once the image is created, you push that image to the repository like a, any container repository like a ECR or a ACR. It depends on whether you are using AWS or you are using Azure. So, and after that, uh, the deployment servers, details on the deployment servers, like how you gonna consume those images and you can deploy those images on the server. So like that, you need to clearly tell your whole workflow in order to showcase your skills in the CI CD or in DevOps. So this is a very important question. Please, please, please prepare this question before going to any interview because this question is going to get you selected. So after this, let's go to another question, which is a what is Sonar Cube? How can you integrate with Jenkins? So first thing, they just wanted to see whether you are aware of the code analysis or not. 
So you need to tell that sonar cube is used for code analysis and inside the uh, code analysis there are different uh, features are there like code smells etc then in sonar cube you need to define quality gates so those quality gates is like uh, uh, say 80 percent 85 percent whatever the passing criteria is that uh, you need to define those quality gates inside the sonar cube there is also a webhook is there by which if there is a uh, any processing is going on on the uh, sonar cube side by that time the jenkins would wait until that time so once the processing is happened on the sonar cube server the, after that jenkins would capture the reports by the sonar cube servers and based on that the pipeline would further pass or fail or the next step would happen based on the results of the code analysis so here the expectation one more expectation here is you need to provide the name of the plugin so for sonar cube the plugin name is sonar scanner this plugin you need to find in Jenkins and then you need to integrate Sonar Scanner plugin in Jenkins. Going to another question. Is the Jenkins in your project is a standalone? This is a very good question. They just wanted to see whether you know about the architecture of Jenkins or not. So Jenkins have a agent based architecture so in jenkins there is a master and then different slaves are there jenkins master would send or dispatch jobs to different agents based on the uh, nature of the job like a different agents are there like linux agents windows agents are there so explain the agent based structure rather saying standalone because in agent based structure you can explain various agents like linux windows different agents depends on the job so this is also very important question so next question is what is pipeline as a code have you written any pipeline code by yourself so here the expectation is they want to check whether you know about writing pipeline in Groovy or not. And also for answering this question, you need to explain them the various details of pipeline code like stages and steps of a job. So for example, this is a sample pipeline code. Here in this, we start with the pipeline and then we provide the agent name like on which agent this is going to run like a different agent it has so uh, you need to define which agent you want if you put any it means it can run on any of the available agent then stages inside stages put stage like build test deploy like that and then inside these stages you need to put steps so steps would be various commands and all inside a step sometimes scripts are also there so you need to mention the script tag as well so this is a sample pipeline code so please remember or go through this before attending an interview so next question is what is a docker file explain various commands in docker file you used so here the expectation is they want to check whether you worked in real time on Docker components or not. Also, for answering the questions, you need to provide various details of Docker file and all the commands in details. So these are few Docker file commands like from. So from specifies the base image to use for the build. 
uh, so, so here, here we need to provide the path from where we are referring, referring the image then run so run execute a command, command in the shell during the build process, build process. copy copies file from the host system to docker image so here you will provide the from and to location then work dir then env expose expose is basically for port which is very important cmd cmd specifies the command that is run whether a container is started from the image entry point configures the default executable for the container also remember why entry point is so important entry point is important because at runtime you can append or you can override the parameters on runtime through entry point so very much important entry point please remember that one then label adds metadata to docker image in the form of key value pairs user so like this these are the important docker file commands so please remember them so next question is what is the difference between docker file and docker compose file in this question the expectation of the interviewer is they want to check whether you worked on uh, docker file and compose file or not so also by answering this question you need to provide various details of docker file and compose file with a clear difference between both so let's see the difference between docker file and docker compose file so a docker file is a script that contains instruction for building a docker image it specifies the base image dependencies application code and configuration required to run a container docker compose on the other hand is a tool for defining and running multi-container docker applications it uses yaml file called docker compose.yaml file to define the services networks and volumes required for an application the key difference between a docker file and docker compose file is their purpose a docker file is used to build a single docker image a docker compose file instead is used to define and run a multi-container application so this is the main difference docker file is for single docker image compose is for running a multi-container application so this is the main difference between both so these are the few of the questions which are very very important question so if you are going to attend any interview for devops please prepare well these questions so thank you so much for watching this video please support us by following on instagram youtube and in case of any question please reach out to us at our email thank you so much bye bye have a good one take care